and welcome to Photo Education Online. This is Larry Lursey, and I have got a really quick tip for you today on another way of doing dodging and burning, but in a, a non-destructive way. You know, typically if we use just the, uh, for example, the uh, the burn tool here uh, in, in Photoshop, um, it, it works okay, but you can see if I go really far here, it just gives it a really ashen type look. It's not just darkening the area, it kind of changes the color a little bit as well. And so we're trying to figure out how to um, adjust the image, bring out the highlights a little bit, deepen the shadows a little bit without uh, causing the, the color to change or doing anything that, da that damages the image where we can't go back and change it later. And so here's how we're going to accomplish this. Um, first thing we want to do is, is create another layer. So you're going to do uh, on a Mac, Command Shift N or Control Shift N on the PC. I'm just going to bring up this little dialog box right here. And we're just going to call this, just call it Dodge Burn. Now a couple of important things you need to do here. You want to change the mode to Overlay and then click this little box that says Fill with 50% Gray. Hit OK. Right here you can see our image is underneath. We've got this gray uh, layer on top but we can't see it because of the blending mode uh, setting there. So it's there, and we can work on it, and we'll see our results, but we don't actually see that gray, which is kind of cool. So let me just zoom in a little bit here. And what we're going to do whoops, is try and lighten some of the lighter areas and darken some of the darker areas, quite simply. Um, I like to start with the light, so we'll switch to the Dodge tool. I've got it set to mid-tones, uh, about 17%. You don't want it too high. We might even just drop that down to 15% because uh, 10 to 15 percent because you want to be able to gradually apply this. I'm going to use my bracket keys to make this brush a little bit bigger or smaller and basically I'm just going to kind of go through these areas here and lighten up the light areas. Like over here I'm kind of working on our little uh, Rembrandt lighting triangle so I want to kind of help that come out a little bit. And anywhere there's light areas, I'm just going to dodge over. And as a rule, you want to typically go a little more than you think it needs. And, and I'll show you why later. Do a little bit here. I like to go in and do a little bit in the eyes. A little bit on the whites, not go too far. Just like that. And hit the teeth a little if you want. And then you just kind of go through anywhere where there's a higher, a more highlight type area. Or you want to bring it out. Uh, a little more. Just like that. Uh, hair, not so much with a guy, but uh, if you've got a girl with big uh, curls going down, you want to really uh, bring out the, the shine in her hair, you can do this. I'll do a little bit of the hair up here just so we can kind of see what I'm talking about. Just like that. So once you've gone through and done that everywhere, you're going to switch over to the burn tool. Again, we're working on this dodge burn layer. Go in here and darken the dark areas like this. Again, how much to do, kind of a personal preference, just kind of depends on how much you want to add to it. But again, I'm going to try and go a little bit more than I think it needs and then adjust it back at the end. These lashes here, we can make them a little darker, the eye black a little darker. Maybe even darken the lips just a little bit. Like that. Um, and maybe, you know, you go back and say, well, you know what, I probably should have done a little more on that lip there. You go back to the Dodge tool, and you can go in and do a little on the lips. And kind of switch back and forth. You can even do this. Let me back up a little bit. If we switch back to Burn, and you want to get a little bit bigger and kind of give the whole thing a, a vignette. You can kind of circle around just to kind of draw the focus uh, into the center a little bit, just like that. Not too much, but just enough to kind of bring in the focus a little bit. So there we go. So there we go. We've got it all worked up. And uh, let's look at the uh, before and after, because you can't really see it. It doesn't look like we've done any drastic work here, but uh, you can flip it off like that and see that it really does give it a much more three-dimensional look. And if you decide that's a little too much, you just come right here to the opacity. Bring that down a little bit like that. Bring it down to about 70%. And uh, there you go. 
again, it doesn't have an overly retouched look, but when you look at it with the before and after, really gives it a much more three-dimensional feeling and uh, a lot more impact. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know and check back for more tutorials soon. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe so you can hear about new videos as soon as they come out. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.